Good morning and welcome to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. So excited that Joyce Kohaywick is in the studio with me. Good morning, Good Joyce. Good morning, Lisa. <laughs> so you're I, so bright and sunny. Holy cow. <laughs> this is fantastic. Happy Easter Sunday to you. Happy Easter to you too. Just hopping down the bunny trail. <laughs> in our preparations for all sorts of things. Yeah. You know, Joyce was with us last year for our preview party, and we're so excited that she's coming back again this year. And we had such a good time taping for the video and some spots. Oh, I got the grand tour of Worcester. <laughs> I mean, we were all over the place. It was fantastic at the museum, and that we were at that wonderful hotel oh. and restaurant. Beachwood and Ceres. Exactly delicious food yes people were so cordial i mean there's just so much going on in worcester and the city gets better and better and better it does yeah. it does look at downtown too now it's much more accessible driving through there's a lot more construction by the way there's a lot more traffic yes there is more traffic <laughs> which but is a good thing from your point of view exactly as long as there's easy parking it's always a good thing but, you know, the other thing, I don't know if you know it, but we have a theater district in the works here. Really? Yes, all surrounding the Hanover Theater. We've expanded the footprint for a theater district. We have lots of news about that. We'll catch up oh, with that's later. Oh, that's exciting. Later for that. Because one. I will never actually forget the first time I saw the Hanover Theater. Oh, I know. I mean, that was extraordinary to me because it was such a beautiful facility. And I had no idea it was here. And it wasn't just a nice facility. It was gorgeous in that old world kind of playhouse, oh, you know, yes. theater, grand theater. With right. The, you know, the moldings and the gilding, absolutely gorgeous. Well, and since then, because Joyce covered our grand opening, it was a highlight for me, everybody, I'll admit it. But Joyce was there at our grand opening with Bernadette Peters. And since that time, we've won national awards from the National Trust of Historic Preservation. I know that you're one of the top 100 theaters in the world Congratulations Thank and you. well deserved. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, and you know, depending on the time of year, we actually make the top 40. It's interesting the way Polestar works because it's all on ticket sales and revenue. Mm -hmm. We're pretty quiet in the summertime and we don't report all of our shows. We're competing against all of the largest theaters across the world. So That's incredible. Yeah. And so you've got a lot to be proud of. We here. do, we do, and I love bragging about it. I mean, presenting the wonderful things that the theater has to offer okay maybe sometimes bragging <laughs> you're, you're loud you're entitled <laughs> but you know i have to tell you all that i think it's official that there is nothing that joyce is not capable of because while she was at our theater this last time we had our resident organist len byersdorf were there and he was len. practicing which was you know at first a surprise but a happy surprise and joyce Goes out on stage and she says, oh, I love the organ. Would you believe she's played the organ for how many years when you were little? Well, I, I was my parish church organist from the time I was 11 years old until I was 17 and I went off to college. And I did this in Bridgeport, Connecticut at St. Ambrose Church. How wonderful. And they had a beautiful uh, organ in the loft with all the pipes. And it was a pretty heady experience for an 11-year-old. I felt right. so powerful and in control. But I used to sing and play the organ at all the high requiem masses and the weddings and the funerals and on Easter Sunday and oh, you know all, it was amazing it was so I got to sit down at the at your beautiful pipe organ it is New England's largest theater organ wow Len gave me the grand tour he also he put me on one of those hydraulic lifts oh that's a big deal he lifted the organ right up to stage level I stepped on and then he lowered it down, and I played a little bit, and then he took me into the closet where the uh, pipes <laughs> were, and he told me about how they installed these things. Oh, yeah. I mean, 2,500 pipes. Right. And one of them apparently is going to be named for me. All so. right. <laughs> I'm very excited to hear that. Me too. That's do a first. We, do we know which note it is? I, did, I said it had to be the most melodious, beautiful note they had. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> now, so that you all know... The theater organ is actually a big part of A Christmas Carol, our production of A Christmas Carol, which is unique and interesting. Mm -hmm. But also, we often do pre-shows on the organ just to keep that alive in our theater. And on our website, we have a little organ icon, so you can tell. And we try to do that before every Broadway show. And it's really a nice way to incorporate, again, part of that history 
and culture and theater into everyday experience. The other thing with the organ that I'm really proud of is we have a whole silent movie series that's really starting to I catch on. I noticed that. I, I love silent films, and I know you're showing Wings. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's going to be great with a live organ accompaniment. Yes. And we had Clark Wilson, who is the organ, the organist who accompanies those silent movies. And he was so interesting to talk to about how you create a score for mm-hmm. a silent movie. There's so much that goes into it. And we're pleased. He travels far to come. You know, like he gets on an airplane. I might take that one in. Do oh, you know, good. I have not been. No, actually, I can't say never. But once at the Boston Symphony, I went to a silent film that had a live accompaniment. But it hasn't been a long time, so I have to get back and do that. I might yes. pop out for this one. Good, yeah. and it's on the weekend, and it's a yeah, matinee, perfect. so it's perfect. And I'll give you Franklin Square Society passes so you can enjoy our oh, VIP room. That would be Free fantastic. parking, oh. <laughs> complimentary beverages. You're playing my tune. I know. Yeah. Now we just need to get some nice gourmet food for Joyce, and she'll be happy and safe yes, forever. Yes, you know, feed me, and I'll, I'll give a good <laughs> review to anything. <laughs> Perfect. Did you hear that, everybody? The secret is out. You know, everybody in Boston knows that about me. You've just got to feed her. Keep her. Don't make her hungry. Get her Get her some food. Oh, so we need to get on that right away, even today. But, you know, the other thing is that you have been really busy. You were talking about some of the things that you're involved in. Yes. Do you want to tell our sure. listeners? Sure. Well, I'm the president of the Boston Theater Critics Association, And we mount our year-end awards every single uh, May. And we call them the Elliot Norton Awards because they're named for the dean of uh, theater critics, really American theater critics, Elliot Norton, who wrote for the Record American for many, many years. He died at the age of 100. Wow. And uh, we keep these awards going in honor of Elliot and to honor our extraordinary theater community, all of the actors, all of the performers, the the behind-the-scenes people, the productions that are marvelous. And it's our local version of the Tony Awards. We host it every single year. At a, it, the last few years, it's been at the Paramount Theater on Washington Street. This year, it's going to be on May 13th. Tickets are going to go on sale soon, so I'm going to be doing that. And uh, we have a very special guest that I can't announce yet, but that will be announced <laughs> soon. Oh, good. Yes. Well, and you have a great website, too, for people. Yes. My website is called, you'll never remember, Joyce'sChoices.com. <laughs> I know, that's really a tough one. And I follow Joyce, and let me tell you, she sends out so many great tidbits about things that are coming up, and if you respond quickly, often she gives away free tickets to things. Oh, I do. I have free advanced screenings for first-run movies before they open to the public, and uh, you can get free advanced screenings. So follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, or subscribe on Joyce'sChoices.com. But I also try to review most movies and theater that go on in the area and try to keep people up to date and anything else that's interesting that crosses my mind. So when, you know, Rihanna's tour, for example, (laughs) was canceled and then rescheduled, you'll probably hear about it first on my website. Oh, because I totally. get the pre- yeah I get the press releases really fast and I can turn them around in ten minutes. Of course you can because yeah. you are a woman of action. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about you, and you make a great host to our preview party. This year's theme is Discover the Connections, yes. and it's such a nice build on last year's success with Experience the New Worcester. We highlight our different Woo partners. Do you remember last year's event? I last year's event was so much fun. It was the first time that I'd done it. The theater was packed. It was all these incredible people from Worcester, from different organizations, subscribers, people who had been to the theater, people who had never been there before, but also your connections in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had restaurants there. There was a whole festival going on in the lobby. Yes. And we had a big video that gave people a tour of Worcester. It was really kind of lively and fun and informal, and I got a chance to meet so many folks. It was great. We're going to take a short break, so stay tuned for more behind the scenes at the Hanover Theater here on AM 830 WCRN. So for us, it's like a networking, after hours, preview party, come. It's a little mini taste of Worcester. And again, we do feature a lot of our Woo partners. And there will be free food again this year. Some (laughs) free tastings. We have some museum partners that are coming. So it's it's very similar to last year. Yeah, but we and it's have a beautiful venue, too. I mean, you know, you couldn't be in a better place to do all of this. You have the gorgeous theater with the screen, and then you move out into that 
beautiful lobby right. and people are sipping champagne and tasting food and getting right. tickets and finding out what's going on. Right. And so part of our whole thing is that we really think that, yes, we want people to experience the new Worcester, not just downtown Worcester, but Worcester County. And really the theater and subscribing to the theater in particular is a great way to connect. We have connections throughout. And that really is an important advantage for our subscribers. We have early bird subscriber incentives that we really put the date of this event, and it's coming up Thursday, April 18th from 5 to 7. That's a deadline where you get all sorts of extra goodies and incentives if you subscribe to our Broadway series. We're not going to talk about what that is now because it's going to be announced opening night of Les Mis. I love it. But we can say, well, we can give one spoiler. Okay. We can give one spoiler. And this year we're building, and we're going to have a Q&A, and ho- do you want to tell people about the Q&A? Yes, I would actually love to tell people about this because it's one of my favorite shows, The Jersey Boys, is coming to town. And this, I mean, it's practically a perfect Broadway musical. It's beautifully staged. The music is incredible. The book, the story, and the music go together perfectly so that all the songs kind of advance the story and you understand where. It's the story of the, the Four Seasons the, the group called the Four Seasons and how they came to be, what their roots were, how those songs happened, what they mean, what those songs meant, and the thing never stops. We're going to have, can I say? Yes, you okay, can. Okay, so we're going to have some of the cast members from that show live there at this party between 5 and 7 on stage. I'll be able to ask them questions and who knows? There may be a performance. We don't know. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a song. We hope. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Maybe I can coax the, someone into I a know. note. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's going to be really great, yeah. really fun. And I think it's important because the, the Jersey Boys is a really good example of a musical that some people are very familiar with, but a lot of people really don't know what it's about and that it's fun for people of a wide range of ages. I have seen this show three times. My mother has seen this show twice. My daughter has seen this show. I've sent people to this show. I mean, I haven't heard anybody come back who has said they didn't absolutely love the show. I mean, it just moves. The music is great. The story is compelling. It's all true. It's, it just doesn't get any better. It's kind of like, again, as I said, the perfect Broadway musical. It's what you think of when you think of a great Broadway show. You get it all right here. Oh, I love hearing that. That's like music to my <laughs> ears, especially because it really is our cornerstone for our subscription series for next year. We're taking a big step forward. We're going to have this show for two weeks. This year, our big risk and our big shows were Les Mis, obviously, which is coming for a full week, and Mary Poppins. And that show is so much better, Les Mis, on stage than it is at the movies. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait. Yeah, it's a great show. My daughter, who's 14, saw the movie, and she cannot wait now. She's looking forward to the music. I find her humming. Although, do you find Les Mis depressing, or do you find it inspirational? I always find that show incredibly uplifting. Mm. It's deeply moving. Mm. It captures this sweep of history, and it has romance and vivid characters, and there's it's life and death and a Very redemption. Symbolic. It's really it's a powerful, powerful show that I think works best on stage right in front of you. That score is beautiful. Mm. I mean, it's it's propulsive. Yeah. It's anthemic, these big, big themes, but really, really beautiful music. And Victor Hugo. Yeah, based on that little novel, that sprawling novel. <laughs> right? Yeah, phenomenal. Really phenomenal. So that'll be great. But Jersey Boys, two weeks. And what that means for our subscribers is that they'll obviously be able to get the best seats to one of our most popular shows. There is a discount for subscribers, but because of all of those different performances, if they want to add on and bring friends, and a lot of times that will happen, they will have the first choice of multiple performances, so they could even upgrade just for Jersey Boys, depending on where they want to sit and how many people they want to bring, and that is huge. So So that all happens if they come on April 18th between 5 and 7. So that was, you know, that's the added incentive. I mean, not... Not just that you're going to have a great time, 
that night, you know, at this fabulous swing and cocktail party, <laughs> which it kind <laughs> right. of is, you know. Yeah. But you're going to get sort of a show, a preview of the shows, but the best deal. Totally. The best deal. You and get yourself set up. Do you remember last year when we gave away all of those prizes from our partners? Oh, I do. I remember that. <laughs> Right. Well, <laughs> From so, the stage, I do right. remember, yes. So we'll be doing another Discover the Connections Excellent. package. And also we are giving away another front row subscription to the people who are at the event and are there with their, you know, their free tickets. But they need that free ticket to come and they fill out their information and we will draw a front row subscription that night. I love it. This is It's going it to be too. perfect. And it I get will. to meet everybody. I really love to just pop down into the audience and mingle and say hi. And, you know, often a lot of what I do is behind the camera. You don't get to actually see a live audience. So for me, this is always a big treat. I oh. love it. And my I have roots that go way back in Worcester. I know. Tell everybody all about it. Well, I, my, I'm married to Andrew Cohen. Andrew Cohen's grandfather uh, and great uncle were Mac and Ben of Mac Ben Sporting Goods, mm -hmm. which I guess was a very prominent store right here on the main street in Worcester, perhaps. I'm not sure. But... Uh, his grandmother is from Worcester. That store was a big part of downtown Worcester. His father was born in Worcester, and I think his brother was born in Worcester. And it's actually just a very a, a short sort of 35-minute, you know, ride for us from where we live now. So we have, yeah, history that goes way back here. And it's just a great, great community. And I'm glad to see that you're going to have a whole theater district that's I know right fantastic. it is fantastic things because are not really everybody happening. wants to go into Boston all the time I mean you know you don't have to go into to that city all the time if you've got it all right here right well the truth is I love going into Boston for lots of different reasons absolutely there's nothing like visiting the state's capital first of all for its history for its culture but we've got a lot of that same history and culture right here mm -hmm. and I don't love the road rage, and I don't love the traffic. <laughs> I don't love paying 30 to $40 to park. Right. Those are the things I don't love, and that's where I think Worcester does have a competitive advantage. I think you're right. It's all here. It's all here, yeah. right here. So anything else you want to tell people about what's been going on with Joyce Cole Haywick? And well, I'm actually about to do something that's not exactly related to arts and entertainment, but I'm about to host the Simmons Women's Leadership Conference. Incredible. It is the longest-running, largest women's leadership conference, I think, in the world. It's been running for about 34 years, and I'm a Simmons College alum. There will be, this is happening on April 2nd. I will be at the Seaport World Trade Center. Uh, there will be 3,000 women in person in the space. I will be making welcoming remarks. We will be streaming this live around the globe, everywhere from Great Britain to China. It's really exciting, and it has an awful lot to do with just women in the world, women's position in the world. I believe women's empowerment is a watershed issue in the 21st century. You can judge a culture by how it treats its women and the status of the women in that culture. This is a turning point right now. We're right on the edge, I think, of just taking over. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, world. Here we come. <laughs> but we don't quite have those leadership positions yet, which is remarkable. Mm. So, But we're making huge strides. That This is a phenomenal networking uh, possibility. Viola Davis is going to be speaking. She's our big keynote speaker. Sally Krawcheck, a uh, very well-known CEO, is going to be speaking. Josie Notori wow. is going to be speaking. It's, it's going to be a phenomenal full-day event at the it, World Trade Center. It really will. And, you know, if you've ever watched who comes and who speaks at these events, the Simmons Women's Leadership Conferences. Joyce is an amazing company, and it says a lot for you and a lot for us, I think, that we're going to be working together on our little preview party oh, here in Worcester. Very exciting. It really <laughs> is. I can't wait. And so we're here doing some taping, and uh, I can't wait to get the whole thing out there and put it up and meet everybody on April 18th. Okay, sounds great. So everybody, check out our website. We are going to be making more announcements in the weeks to come, and that's thehanovertheater.org. 
Again, this is a free event. So come check us out. Check to see what's going on with our subscription season. Come and meet Joyce. And we will see you at the theater. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes at the Hanover Theater here on AM 830 WCRN. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you.